I am the Commissar. This is Forged Alliance Forever. Today, we're back on the ladder with another 1v1. We'll start in the blue corner. Now, we saw this fellow last week too. This is Bob Massilli. He is 1244 rated and playing Cybron. Now, Bob is also a FAF content creator under the name Unlucky Seb. I have linked his Twitch stream in the description below. Please go and follow him and watch his stuff as well. Now for the red corner. This is Black Death. Black Death is 1399 rated and he is also playing Cybron. And just like his disease namesake, he is being aggressive. Look at this. His very first unit out of the factory, not a single engineer before it, is a lab. And that lab is just going straight in for the reclaim here where he expects Bob is going to send an engineer. That's crazy aggressive. Speaking of reclaim, let's look at the map. The map is called Zilthia Valley and it has these clutches of reclaim scattered around the place, a few hundred each, or worth hoovering up, most of them in the form of these weird blue crystals. And another thing to note about this map is how much it is divided into channels. This channel, you can't get across there by land. This channel, all of this is cut off by land. So you really have to defend everywhere at once. If you lose one of these channels, your opponent has a way through into your behind, as it were. And the, there's a few mexes scattered everywhere, mostly in twos. Here and here, there are clutches of three mexes, so they're going to be the most natural expansions for each player. And this lab is going to have to be the focus of our attention because now Bob in the games I've watched of his he is always extremely good with eco and often when he wins it's just because he had twice his opponent's eco and he has started off very greedily here but it means he has nothing at all to defend against this lab is it going to no it's not going to miss that ng black death sees it brings it back boom one NG down, and this NG also looks very vulnerable here. Pop! That's two NGs down. Lovely play, that lab has already more than played for itself and has its rank of veterancy. Lots of production going up for Bob. But this NG, which has stopped reclaiming, looks like it might be at risk. And I don't think Bob's noticed. He, well, now he has. He gets for reclaim order, but it's not enough. Three NGs for this one lab. Three NGs and a scout before Bob's first Mantis picks it off. That's beautiful. Now, Black Death doesn't want the same thing to happen to him. He's positioned cloaked scouts all across the map, and he already has a bomber out. So, relentless aggression from Black Death. However... That does mean that Bob already has an NG claiming that expansion while there's not a single engineer out of Black Death's main base yet. So that could be a big difference. Will this bomber be able to redress that imbalance? Down goes one NG. However, Bob has an inti nearly finished. Is it going to come out in time? He's also preparing to drop, as we can see from this transport here. The inti takes a shot at the bomber. It drops, but it's, it could kill that pigeon if it got another pass. But is it going to get another pass? It's already taken a bit of damage, and this inti is after it. Oh, good turn. And it kills a second NG. Nice. Two NGs picked up for that bomber. Before the inti finally takes it out. So, on the other hand, though, look at all this expansion from Bob while Black Death has almost nothing, and Bob has nearly twice the eco of Black Death. However, there's yet another bomber out for Black Death, and 
if it can pick up this, this NG over here, that would be beautiful because the amount of time it would take for Bob to bring an NG all the way back out here and try and get these mexes again is a lot more than the amount of time it would take. And he does get it, boom, for Bob to reinforce NGs in the base. Meanwhile, Black Death is expanding out of his base. His com is in the expansion and he's dropping these mechs is up here. That transport is full of NGs for Bob now, but there's an Inti chasing it from Black Death and it's taking damage. But Bob's Inties are able to take it out and the transport is on its way. It looks like Bob isn't choosing to drop these two. He's going straight to land everything at this expansion here. Maybe he's going to set up a base there. We have tentative tank raids coming out. I like the way that Black Death's cloaked scout has hidden from this mantis so he knows not to send any engines here. However, we now have some raids heading in up the top from Bob. This tank is heading to try and take out this mechs and these guys are coming up for these expansions here. They're almost certainly going to get this NG. But Bob is not alone in raiding because we can see down here that we have this little platoon coming out from Black Death. However, we'll watch those in a little bit because right now we have to see what's going on here. And having killed this NG, looks like Bob is going to try and take out here and here. And this could be a lot of pickups. Black Death knows about it. He's got tanks coming in to support. But he's going to lose that NG, no question. Boom. And he's going to lose this NG and this mech too. Is he going to lose this mech? Will the Mantis be able to work through it before these two Mantis catch it up? Into the red... Boom, yes they are, before that Mantis dies, nice. And over here the NG has been picked up and the Met is going down, no questions asked. In the south, however, we have this raid coming in from Black Death, which might repay the favour. Bob actually has quite a big army here, I like the bomber support as well, which means that an AA gun is the first thing coming out from... Bob, but this army really needs to move around here and start laying down the fire here because if it just stands there it's not going to destroy this production and Bob's army will catch it up however we have to go split screen because we have so much going on here we have this expansion being bombed while Bob calls back his army here to fight this but he also sends his inties to fight the bomb here on the left we have this raid from Bob being defended against by Black Death but as this defense goes on here another raid comes up to take out this expansion here where as yet we don't have any production from Black Death to be able to produce defensive units and Black Death is losing the mexes over on this side though Black Death is recalling to fight against this army and we're going to get a bit of a scrap here as the bomber there has been taken out. I actually pointed to the screen there, you couldn't see it, never mind. Silly me. So Black Death is going to lose these mexes, but I think that with this production going up, the turret here and these tanks coming in, Black Death is going to lose quite a lot of units, but I think he's going to defend against Bob. That's not the case up here though. This NG is still alive, insanely, but he's going to lose the Mexes. He's going to lose the Hydro. But we can't stay too long there because down here we have a push not only from Black Death's units but from Black Death's com. He's going to take out a couple of units here and Mexes. That Mex is going to fall. I thought that Mex was going to fall, but Black Death is repositioning to defend. And he has defended on this side, so let's focus over here. And now Black Death is going to come round and take these mexes out. So that's quite a lot of eco that Bob's going to lose here. 
On this side, the armies are again dancing around each other. I'm not quite sure where Bob's going with this lot, but this, however, is where they should be, and it's where they're not. So this could be a very successful raid from Black Death, as he comes through here and is going to hit this expansion. On the other side, we actually have quite a big fight going down, and we can see here an energy drop going in to get that top left corner. Mex is down, Engie's down, very nice for Black Death on this side. And on this side, Bob is also facing pressure, though on this side I think he's got enough tanks coming out to defend. Engie's dying over here for Bob, but rather than bring this army back to fight it, Bob has pushed forward and taken out Black Death's Mexes here. Oh, this army does indeed go down. Now, we see here that Bob has just finished Tech 2 Air. Is he on the way to Tech 2 Land anywhere? Not yet, but Black Death already has Tech 2 Land, and he is getting out combat units. I think Bob could be pushing with this army here a bit more, but... I understand why he's keeping it in defence. Is he going to try and bring it back all the way to fight this off? I don't know whether that's useful, because he's going to have to chase it. He's... Ooh, that's a nice cheeky little drop from Black Death, just picking up these mexes. All they have to do is survive 18 seconds, and they've paid for themselves. I wonder if he knows about these turrets. Black Death trying to bomb Bob's drop up here, and Bob has continued pushing on forward here with these tanks, sending them round the back behind Black Death's production. In the middle, Black Death is trying to push through, and he's taken out some of Bob's production, which is pretty nice. As well as claiming the mixes, we've got a turret up for Black Death to defend his newly grabbed base out here, but there's an arty in here for Bob, and so I think that turret's going down, but these guys will definitely have paid for themselves. And rather than stick around to face this army, Black Death continues his raid and pushes forward. Nice play from Black Death. However, meanwhile... Bob has just snuck through here and he's going to kill this mechs again. I can hardly keep up with everything that is going on. And we have three bombers out on the right for Black Death and four rhinos. So this is going to be quite a tough force to stop on either the ground or in the air. And this force that's broken through is now massing here and it's wondering about taking this on. But there's a point defence and there's the army of Bob. So Black Death pushes even deeper. Meanwhile, he's split up this raid. One half's gone off here, but unfortunately for Black Death, there are units of... But he's just running past and he might pick up quite a few tasty engines. Meanwhile, these guys have come here. They need to fall back a bit to actually kill this mechs, but... That's pretty nice anyway, and those bombers are going to town over here. They could probably get quite a few NG kills. Oh, nice split. One of them locking down the factory while the other picks up NGs. And Bob has a decent amount of NGs, which will kill him in a minute. But Black Death's going to have a decent amount of damage done. He Meanwhile, he's taken out this, re this mech. He's taken out a lot of NGs. These guys haven't yet. And these guys have just parked. We'll see what they do in a second. However, they're not going to get anything done because Bob has put a T2 point defence up, which will pick them off, probably. Quick overview. Map control split roughly down here. The only notable difference is that Black Death still has this, but for how long, while... Bob still has both corners, but this force, this force is huge. Five rhinos I see in there, backed up by a bit of T1 spam. There's nothing that Bob has down here that will stop it. Oh, that's nice. One singular one of those tanks got past and took out a mechs, but 
Bob has gunships and Black Death is still at T1 Air. This force seems like it's going to be where it's at. It's hitting the bottom right corner, but if that gunship comes over here, it's got nothing to defend. No anti-air in there at all. However, this is a lot of T2 tanks for one gunship to work through. And if that's the response that Bob chooses, he's going to need more than just one gunship. It is the response Bob chooses, and it's not a bad one. But I think he's going to lose all of this well before he has any chance, actually, to kill this attack. Indeed not. We'll check back on it in a bit. Now, up here, there's quite a decent army massing for Bob here and here, but it's all T1. And this army has T2 in it again, and he's also building T2 flak which will be a good counter to the gunships, if only he'd had some down here. Bob has had his gunship taken out by Black Death's Inties, but Bob has more Inties, and so Black Death has wisely thrown away, rather than take the air fight. Black Death's com getting T2, and since it, this army could take out these mexes here, but to get anywhere decent, it's going to have to get past here, and with a T2 com, that's not likely to happen. Drops by Black Death trying to claim the area he's just taken out, but he's going to need some anti-air coverage. This gunship is still picking away at this army, but it could just come over here and kill those engies. No questions asked. Instead, though, it's continuing to take this fight, and I don't blame it. If this army gets in over here, that could hurt a lot. Again, Inti used to take out the gunship, but this time Bob's are on point and take it out. And this fight is going down here next to Black Death's expansion, and I think it's going to come down to the fact that Black Death has T2 there and Bob really doesn't. On this side, the army advances and more gunships, well supported by Inties, are defending. And it looks like Bob's considering bringing his com in. And look at that! Bob's army has just been trashed and now there's a big T2 army with nothing to stop it over here. That's brutal. On this side, we have this army moving forward but there's enough gunships. Oh, but Black Death has brought some... Inties in. He might get the gunships, but again, Bob defends with his Inties. That's the air fight. No push here yet from Black Death. So, let's bring our gaze back down here, where we have this army pushing in. And this is nice. I'm seeing a T2 tank drop to stop this engineer, a T2 engineer, re-expanding into this base, and... Bob won't have the chance to keep that. Black Death's army continues. It's much reduced, and these gunships are still picking away at it, but it's getting damage done. That is nice play. Up here, this army still hasn't advanced, and there is T2 defending from Black Death, but now we have Black Death pushing. And again, there's a little bit of T2 in here now, but is it enough to face off against this amount? I don't know if it is. The push advances. Situation is looking a bit dicey for Bob. He's 20 eco behind at this stage. Which is quite painful. That's Black Death having half as much mass gain per tick. And this army, the um, gunships that Bob has been using are not going to defend against this. Because this army has a decent amount of flak in it. Forward it comes, and a T1 point defence, while nice against T1, is going to fall very quickly to this push. Mex is going down. Production going down. It is going to hurt. But, as Black Death advances in the south, Bob advances in the north, and this is the ultimate confrontation of Spam versus Tech. Three T2 tanks versus this horde of T1. However, Black Death brings in more T2 to defend. 
<coughs> and there's more supporting from behind and this army really is getting damage done however there's much more T2 in here for Bob now and that's quite a horde of gunships there's still flak in there but I think it's going to be enough to defend over on this side Bob does claim a mech which is pretty nice down on the left this is actually still alive which is more than I was going to expect for it and on this side we do have the attack cleaned up not before it claims a couple of mechs this might get one more mech down here but the point defense and gunships will probably clear it up are we going to see some attacks from up here perhaps Ooh, well that's a big change. Down here, Bob has started on T3 land, and T3 land will be absolutely game-changing. Black Death not thinking about it at the moment. Black Death is, however, pushing in here, and that's all rhinos, so this T1, these two T1 point defences won't be much of a threat to them. And while he's doing that, he's also pushing up here with another bunch of rhinos. So nice aggression on all fronts from Black Death. I think might have been trying to set up factories here for Bob. Black Death it will certainly put an end to that. Oh, we have a drop being picked up here. We'll follow that in a moment. Now, good expansion here from Black Death. He's got flak out, so these gunships, they'll drive these tanks back, but they won't actually get any damage done, and Black Death will keep his production. Air fight in the middle, which Bob is going to win, but while Bob's fighting air over here, this transport is flying in unopposed to drop four rhinos in the back of Bob's corner base, which is quite nice. Quite a big fight going down here, and there's now decent amounts of T2 for Bob as well as for Black Death. And Black Death retreats just a little bit. Immediately, one of these rhinos has been taken out. There's a artillery piece and a point defense defending. But now Black Death's noticed it, he started moving the artillery piece, he's going to have some more trouble, and Bob sends quite a decent army towards it. Bob definitely taking control of the air down at the bottom, but this is a much larger force now coming out. Actually, I think it's a much larger force. A lot of that is NGs. That's four flax and only two rhinos, so he's definitely worried about air more than he is about land. Perhaps that will change when bricks start rolling out for Bob. And speaking of the devil, we see he's just started queuing up his first brick there from the factory. Big gunship raid being planned here. Well, perhaps gunship defence. The hydro's out, one of the mechs are out, but these two rhinos aren't going to get anything done in the face of a big heap of gunships. So, Black Death has now started on the way to T3, but he's only a third of the way done on it. And there's already this brick coming forward from Bob. <coughs> Good amounts of defensive army from Black Death, but will it be enough? And again, Bob is continuing to maintain air dominance up here, so this army which is coming around here, there's nothing to stop the gunships just going to town on it. However, if the air is all up in that corner, it means it's not down in this corner, and Black Death is trying some gunship raids of his own with some success. He's getting mixes here, he's getting mixes here, and Bob is going to have to do something about that if he wants to preserve his eco. And in he comes with quite a big raid into Black Death's base. But Black Death has flak 
in just lying in wait in his base for just such an emergency. He's got a few NTs, but Bob's will shred those. It's the flak that's going to be the main defense. He might lose some of these NGs capping this mechs, and indeed he does. He loses them all because renegades have splash damage. So that was a bit painful for Black Death, but he will take out the raids. And I just noticed, despite the eco lead that Black Death appears to have had all game, Bob has more mass collected, and that is insane. Look at that. 6,000 collected for Black Death, 27,000 reclaim collected for Bob. That's four, four times as much reclaim that Bob has than Black Death. That's crazy. And that's how he's been able to fund all his stuff like the T3. This little land raid is going to be countered by this force from Bob. But it doesn't matter because the gunships have taken out all of these mexes. Good play from Black Death. But will he have enough in the face of all that huge heap of reclaim? I don't like this though. This is a trickle. And there's, there are bricks here that can easily take it out. Would you have gone for bricks in that position or would you have preferred loyalists? Because I am reasonably sure that Bob knows, well he, he does know that Black Death is still at T2 land. That's about to change. And there it goes. But if your opponent's only at T2, would you not want a few loyalists scuttling around causing trouble first? That said, I always go for bricks first because I don't know how to micro loyalists very well, so there's that. Either way, the bricks are here and they're um, inflicting fear. I don't know, something that rhymes with here. And there's quite a lot of them. And just when he needs to be defending here against these bricks, Black Death is pulling his army back to defend against this mostly T1 army from Bob. If he scouts it, he doesn't know what it is. If he scouts it, these gunships would easily be able to do the job, but he's sending this army and that feels like a mistake with these bricks on his doorstep. These fellows are just anti-airs. Where are the actual tanks? There were two actual tanks down here, but Bob has enough T2 to stop it. And here come those bricks pushing in at the front, and Black Death has desperately recalled his army. But it's, and he has got the gunships, but gunships, T2 gunships at least, take quite some time to work through this sheer amount of bricks. And... In different meanings of the phrase, both Blob and Black Death are going to be bricking it about this. Um, because look at the amount of damage they're laying down. And these units are just moving in one at a time. Already, Black Death has lost all his eco here. Meaning that Bob takes the production lead as well. And... It feels like Black Death actually has the air advantage at the moment. So how matters have turned, where it was... Black Death with the advantage on land and Bob in the air, but Black Death with the eco advantage. Now those are all exactly the other way round, as Bob comes in with this huge T3 land advantage, while Black Death behind an eco defends from the air. How these matters twist and turn. And now, this entire base has been taken out, and even if he loses these bricks, I think Bob will be happy with that outcome. However, Black Death is taking the air fight over Bob's base and despite any flak or anti-air that Bob has in his base which actually isn't that much at the moment unlike the clutch of flak we saw in Black Death's he has wiped Bob's air and can now use gunships pretty much at will which he's doing so on these bricks I would prefer to see these bricks dealing with these bricks because Unsurprisingly, Black Death is now producing bricks of his own, though he's only got a couple out. He's chosen to focus on T3 Eco first, before getting those bricks out. And he's going to get some damage in from the air. T2 Mix for Bob is going to die there. I'm pretty sure that's going out. No questions asked, and a T1 run as well. Can he keep on getting the damage done? I wish he'd do more here, though. He's got these... 
T2 flak tank sticking around, but he's only got one T1 tank in there to do any actual damage on the ground. And his com, which does have T2, so it can build more quickly, is advancing to reclaim the expansion that he lost. These are only T1, they're not going to be a threat to hit a T2 com. These bricks might be a bit more worrying, but look at this, we've got a, a brick drop over here from Black Death, which has cleaned up those mixes there, and it's going to run in and cause a bit more trouble here. I like that, I like to see brick drops. This is quite a worrying army if you're Black Death. Bob has brought in a decent amount of brick, he's got flat support, so the gunships will be less good in defence, and there are a few bricks coming in to defend. Will it be enough? That's three bricks and they're quite well spaced out. I think that Bob could quite easily push in here, but Black Death is more interested over here. He's picking up these bricks, he's dropping, he's taking out mixes. But his com is under threat from these bricks. Does he know about them? He doesn't. Nor does he know about this army here, but Black Death might be at risk due to lack of intel. And he's having fun with these bricks, he's picking them up, he's going to drop them in the back of Bob's base. And that would be brutal, but he still doesn't know that his com is under threat. And this could be, this could be it for Black Death. In come no fewer than five bricks, with a T1 army cutting him off from behind. Black Death realises his mistake and retreats. Is he going to be out of there? He's being cut off, he's... He's bringing in a transport to try and get out. Is it going to be there in time? It's not! It flies down towards him, but too late. Boom! Black Death explodes and Bob wins the game. That was all about the raids. No mechs was safe. Drops, rumbies, everything. It was great. Speaking of raids, go and raid Bob, that is, Unlucky Seb's channel. Also, speaking of raids, at the end there, do you think that Black Death overextended a bit with his brick drops? Do you think those bricks should have stayed back and defended his com? Or do you think it could have just been that he was concentrating so much that he let his com walk into danger? Tell me in the comments below. While you're down there, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and obey. Because I am the Commissar. I will see you next time.